Let's start the second topic for this session. We have covered net income approach. We have covered net operating income approach. Let's start with the traditional approach now. Traditional approach is basically understanding the viewpoint of equity and debentures. Now they say that leverage plays a very important role in your capital structure. What is leverage risk? In the coming sessions, we will be focusing more on the leverage or the risk part. One important part of risk is a financial leverage, it's a very very important type of risk. And this risk, financial risk arises because of your financial obligations in the form of interest payments. And this theory focuses more on the financial leverage and it says financial leverage plays a role, the risk part plays a role in your capital structure. The traditional approach actually is just a combination of your net income approach and the net operating income approach. It is an intermediate. It does not support net income or net operating. It is just a midway between the two approaches. This approach says that mix of debt and equity can increase the value of the firm by reducing your cost of equity only up to a certain level. Now we have seen the two value ob objectives of optimum capital structure. Value of the firm should increase and cost of capital should decrease. And this says that cost of capital can only be decreased only up to a certain level. It says that cost of your capital decreases only within the limit of your financial leverage. So how does it decrease? It depends upon the financial risk as well. And financial leverage plays a very important role when you decide about the debenture and equity proportion. And when we reach this minimum states, it starts increasing. So you can say it depends upon the time frame of the company and the financial leverage. Then we say the debentures and equity impacts your value and your cost of capital. It does not support net income, it does not support net off. It's just a midway in between. It, says it all depends upon the financial leverage of a company. So traditional approach is very clear. A theory of capital structure, we say, an optimum capital structure can only happen when the value of the firm is increased under traditional approach through the proper use of financial leverage. How you use financial leverage in your capital structure, how do you actually adjust the risk in your capital structure affects the total value of the firm. And this optimum capital structure under this by using leverage can actually increase your value and decrease your cost of capital. So it's all about risk or the financial risk is what net operating income and net income approach did not cover. And traditional approach just a midway. It says it all depends upon the lifeline of a company and the leverage as such. As you can see the graph depicted, you can see how at a cost we have a cost of capital on the y-axis and we have x-axis we have as a financial leverage that is based on debt and equity and debentures increases your risk. As you can see how cost of equity, cost of debenture and cost of capital increase, decrease or are stagnant based on the leverage part. As you can see our risk increases what happened to each of the cost as such and this is what traditional approach focuses on. Now if you see this graph it's very clear. Cost of capital is dependent upon the capital structure of the firm. In the initial stages, you can focus on that the low cost debt is not rising at all and replace a more cost of equity. And in QSA, and cost of capital is declining thereafter. Then you can see what is happening is because of an increasing financial leverage, what is happening is that this is the cost of equity and cost of capital are more than the offset by the benefits of lower cost debt financing. So you can say it depends upon the leverage part how will your cost of equity and cost of debenture and cost of capital are impacted because of it. So what is the optimum capital structure according to traditional approach? The optimum capital structure according to traditional approach is when cost of capital is your lowest asset. See we want to save our money, we want to save how much returns we give to an investor. At that point at which cost of capital is the minimum is the optimum capital structure over here. So when we have depend on leverage, you can, as you can depict in the graph, it depends on the lifeline of the company, how equity, debenture and cost of overall cost of capital is increasing. The focus on the minimal point and that will be impact the value of the firm and that impacts the total cost of capital. And this is what traditional approach, just a midway. It does not focus on net income, net or it does not say capital structures or decisions are relevant or irrelevant. It has its own saying, focusing is on the financial leverage viewpoint.